竞速能力都是很强的。是打的极其稳定啊，在稳定的基础上，他的这种前后场的衔接、突击解开岛啊！这一次亚锦赛四位队员进入到半决赛，可以说罗导是非常开心啊。其实相比较于像宇飞这样的经历过大赛的队员进入到决赛，像韩月呀、啊、王芷怡像这样的这样的队员能够在亚锦赛站立不稳。Runs at the French Open, losing to Akane Yamaguchi. Three games in the semi-final in Paris. An opportunity for first title of the year and a huge title at that. This one he manages to get it across the line this time. Be the first ever badminton Asia Championship crown. Wang Tsui already has a title in 2024 at the uh, Indonesian Masters. A really good run there, Wang Tsui. Beat the Yo Chia Min in the number 32. And prior to that, got the bronze at the uh, India Open. And the start of the year. The Malaysia Open with the round of 16 exit. The Herping Jiao. A bit of frustration for her the last two tournaments prior to this one, though. Back to back round of 16 exits at the French Open and the All England. of a hurry. Crucial here. Chen Yifei just wasn't quite ready to receive. Needed a bit more silence from the crowd. 
and we've had some really good atmosphere over the last few days. Great crowds here in Ningbo. Added a lot to the tournament. And we treated to some top class badminton. Three game matchup in the quarterfinals against Ayao Hori. Awen two. to just go across there but instead uh, just wanted to force onto Yi into the lift at the net and exchanging a couple of uh, deep players yesterday against Han Yue we spent less time on the court that's a more experienced Chen Yu Fei up the tempo that Chen Yu Fei get it to really suffer on that court and she's been winning those points she hasn't really paid much attention to it well that win in the first game for Wang Tuyi will have given her a lot of belief Coming into this one. When you're on top, you've got the advantage of having won that first game. You're one game away from winning the title. One to ye. Also a former Asia junior champion. In singles. The last four matches between these two have all ended in uh, two games. July 2023, the uh, Korea Open. The last time it went to three games. In that one as well, Chen Yufei. Self and an early birthday present as well. Turning 24 on the 29th of April. I wonder as well with uh, Chen Yufei in these big championships. I mentioned earlier, falling short the world champion. Wins a point. Forgets there's an issue. Loses a point, goes to the lower back. Bit of a crutch, perhaps. The Wang to Yi. A couple of extra points. Nicely 
Dunn so looking to just try and go across court. Well defended. Hey. I was waiting for that silence before the serve. those big championships, the World Championship and the Asian Championships and what sort of uh, mental impact that can have coming into this final here. Another for one, two. Whereas from uh, Chen Yufei, almost a case of thinking, I wonder if she's thinking, I have to do it now. We're making these finals, making it into the uh, latter stages of these uh, championships, but not quite seeing it through. Position in Wang Tzu Yi at this stage of the contest. That's a, a real mountain to climb. And it just looks like she's lost quite a bit of confidence as well. She's going to have to be playing out of her skin to try and get back into this. And not just that, she's going to need Wang Tzu Yi to really mess this up. So many surprise championship. Chen Yufei second. Or in the quarterfinals and in the semifinals. What a story this is. First forward in this uh, second game here. Chen Yufei has only managed two consecutive points. Managed four in game one, which is the same as uh, Wang Tzu Yi. It's that run of points that uh, Wang Tzu Yi was able to pick up, was able to gather, giving her such a good cushion. Here. Six years of age, Shen Yufei. Still has plenty of time to go in her career, you'd imagine, but uh, she must, in certain moments, just start to wonder if it's ever going to happen for her. Oh, yeah. Level. Try and focus on each passage. See where that takes you. Watching uh, both of these players in the women's singles go about their jobs. And Wang Tzu Yi especially has just uh, been a picture of poise and composure. tournament that she's played.